From the Smith Center in Chapel Hill, this is TarHillIllustrated.com. I'm THI staff writer Jacob Turner, and alongside me, as he usually is, THI publisher Andrew Jones. You're probably wondering, hey, why aren't they in the Smith Center again? Where's the beautiful blue seat backdrop they usually have? Well, once again, they are blasting music in the Smith Center right now. Um, I was waiting out there, setting up the camera. AJ was posting the five takeaways. It was dead silent in there. And then AJ's getting ready to walk out. He puts the takeaways up. I, I see the tweet on my phone, and Shaggy starts blasting everywhere. It was Shaggy this time, not classic rock. What's the change of pace there, the change of course? I have no idea yeah, where that came usually from. Usually it's stuff from the seven. It's yep. not like, like 80 stone. It's like Leonard Skinner. 70 stone Skinner, Rolling Boston, Stones. stuff like that, yep. Aerosmith. You know. Let's do some 80s, 80s We can't do it like in there that, because of all the whole YouTube monitoring. Yeah, thing. we would get taken down real quick. Although so. if they had like some late 80s, 90s alternative, I might have to force <laughs> us to do one in there and just, you know. We'll, so we'll let that background yeah, we'll let that, yeah, You we'll, let that we'll, rock. A little monetization not happen on that <laughs> yeah. one. That's okay. Get the, get the cure in excess go and we're okay. Hey, we're in the practice gym right now. You've seen us in there a few times this season. I think it's like our second or third time. Obviously, we were here for the, after the Duke game. We're here again. So. Yep. Uh, North Carolina losing tonight to Virginia, 64 to 62. Thomas Wolde Tensai, I probably butchered that one, hitting a game-winning three-pointer. A for effort. A for effort, yep. Hitting a game-winning three-pointer uh, with about 0.8 seconds left to give UVA the victory. Uh, Christian Keeling hit some big, three, uh, not three-pointers, some big free throws before that. But AJ, I mean, if we're gonna start anyway, we gotta start with this. This Carolina team is snake bit. I mean, it, it's been one of them years for Carolina. They, they've, we saw it against Duke last Saturday, a week ago from today. We see it again tonight. I mean, Carolina plays pretty well against the Virginia team. Christian Keeling steps up, like I mentioned, hit th hits three big free throws. His games continue to evolve. You're kind of thinking, oh, this might be a little good feel-good story. Christian Keeling starts off kind of slow, starts to play better, hits game-winning free throws over Virginia for the win. And then Walter Tensai comes down, yep. throws a three-pointer. I know all the players after the game said, pretty much all of them that we yeah. interviewed, said that they thought that ball was going in. I know I thought it was going in when it left the, the hands, but this Carolina team right now, AJ, it's just been a snake bit season and, for them. They didn't have to open their mouths to say it. No, absolutely not. Andrew Playtech flat said when that was shot went up, I knew it was going in. Yeah. And I asked a couple of guys about what Andrew said. And Killing tried to deflect it a little bit, but you could tell. I mean, and, yeah. and it's no, it's, there's nothing wrong with this. Okay, some no. people say, how can they think that way? Human nature, like you said. You, okay, human you said nature. first this time. <laughs> it's human nature. I'm, I swear to you, it is absolutely a part of what's going on here, mm -hmm. and we're seeing these kids have to deal with it. I even asked Andrew about fighting through it and all that kind of stuff, and it is their reality. Uh, not just tonight, not just last Saturday night against Duke, but you got BC yep. three times since Cole's come back. Mm -hmm. you got BC, you've got the Clemson game, Virginia Tech. Yeah, Virginia Tech, yeah. It's one of them years. It, 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 yeah, one of them years. And yeah, <laughs> I think you have to use a little slang to... One to, of those years, I should say. Yeah, but, that, but it's okay <laughs> to use a little slang with this simply because I think it helps gloss it over a little bit more comfortably and yeah, smoothly yeah. for these kids. Absolutely. And I think that's kind of what we saw tonight because last Saturday night after Duke, essentially tears. Oh, yeah, okay. pretty much, yeah. Uh, Tuesday night in the locker room at Wake Forest, there was anger. There was a lot of uh, disappointment. I think around it wasn't just guys angry with and upset with themselves. Mm -hmm. They're upset the other guys in the room. Tonight it was like you know what do you do? What, what can you do? Can I mean, you Keeling's say, yeah. finally playing the way that they thought he was going to play all along. Goes up there. This team. I mean, what were we talking about a week ago? They don't hit the free throws late. Well, they hit the free throws late, <laughs> and, they lose. and then something else freak happens. Yeah. And you know they defended that fairly well. Just an excellently run play mm -hmm. drawn up by Tony Bennett. Virginia gets the win. Virginia's a better team. And probably you could say deserved to win the game simply because it didn't make as many mistakes as Carolina yeah, did. Yeah, a lot of turnovers. Yeah, for Carolina, yeah. we'll get to Carolina's offense in a second. <clears throat> but 15 turnovers and a few other mistakes. This team has no room for error. Nope. They saw that tonight. So you can shoot 50% against UVA mm -hmm. and still lose mm -hmm. because it's one of those seasons for Carolina. Yeah. You mentioned it a second ago. Offensively, Carolina played better tonight. 50% from the floor yep. uh, shooting. Garrison Brooks had a good night. Cole Anthony had a good night. Even Christian Keeling did some nice things. So Carolina offensively, I remember in the second half watching this game, I was like, Carolina's playing pretty well right now. They didn't play well in the first half. They had 10 turnovers at halftime, yep. 15 for the game. So they cut down on those a little bit in the second half. But uh, in, the, in the second half, excuse me. But if you look at what Carolina did for a majority of that game, especially against a team like Virginia, you know you're not going to get a ton of possessions. Obviously, those turnovers are going to hurt you because of that. Yeah, magnified. But overall, you look at Carolina's stat line. Again, it's kind of similar to the Duke game. If you kind of look at Carolina's stat line and you don't look at the final score, you're like, Carolina probably won this game. Yeah, if you had told me yeah. they, shot, they would shoot 50% beforehand and they would have 14 assists. Yeah. 
okay, on what, 25 baskets, mm-hmm. which is an excellent percentage That's against good, yeah. UVA. I said, wow, well, they're going to win this game. Yep. Well, they didn't, but think of it this way. Four of the five starters sh- uh, converted at least half their shots. Mm-hmm. The one who didn't was Cole Anthony. He was seven for 16, but he was six for 10 at one point. Mm-hmm. He kind of... Yeah. He kind of went a little solo there at in the, the end, last yeah. several minutes, I and I think that that's something that needs to be addressed. If this team is to make a run down the road, and the only reason I say it. that is because of the next point we're going to, mm-hmm. but because they're, they're saying that, mm-hmm. but the, the object is to improve every game. Well, part of improving, I think Cole just needs to be one of five a little bit more late than mm-hmm. he was tonight, and we've seen that a couple a of times, times this yeah. year. But, yeah, offensively, I thought that they had a really good game plan to attack the pack line defense. They got a lot of good looks. Loved Garrison Brooks' offensive performance tonight. Yeah, I guess Diakite. Dragging yeah. Diakite all around the court. He even stepped out and hit a th- big three in the second half after missing a couple of free throws in a possession of, possession or two before. Garrison was hitting baseline jumpers, stuff inside the lane just in front of the free throw line. He was hitting stuff, you know, in you know before the elbow. He, he got three, some yeah. stuff down the block. He had a dynamite seal. I don't think it was Diakite, mm-hmm. uh, but he had a beautiful seal at one point. I think Pearson hit him with a bounce yeah, pass. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, key. yeah. This is a splendid offensive performance by Garrison, showing a medley to his game that mm-hmm. certainly nobody thought was there, knew was no, there before no. the season started. And we've seen this evolving over the course of time, sort of stagnated for a couple of games when Cole came back. But this was clearly the kind of performance that he was putting forth before Cole came back for a couple of weeks. So he did that tonight. So that's a huge positive. And just by and large, 14 assists. They had six December 8th in Charlottesville. 50% from the floor. They shot 37% in Charlottesville. And Cole had an early assist in the game tonight, mm-hmm. which was big because he had none in Charlottesville, yeah, six no, turnovers. No. Mm-hmm. So, you know, 15 turnovers is bad. They lost the game Especially because of that, I think. Yeah. And they had four fast break opportunities that they really flubbed, three of which they didn't even get a shot off. It was a few where you're just like, hey, yeah, that it, one up. you know, silly play stuff. Tech's got to be more confident in the break. They just, this is not a very good fast break team. No. And that, Kind of Those little tonight. mistakes right there cost them because as we could set a thousand times before this team has no room for error. I think one one positive to focus on that we kind of focused on a little bit there with the offense, but another positive to focus on is Carolina cut the cord well tonight. We saw it after that devastating Duke loss yeah. against Wake Forest. I mean, I, I think you'd agree with me. That was one of the worst performances I've covered. I haven't covered nearly as many games as AJ, but that, I was sitting courtside for the game. And Carolina was what behind twenty six at one point to the worst team in the ACC. You get beat by few. 17. Yeah, I know you've seen a lot more Down than I have. Like 40 I've seen. at Maryland when Jason <laughs> Cable did the antlers. Yeah, that was exactly. Fun. Yeah, that was, that's pretty. You've told me that story <laughs> yeah. before. But Carolina did not cut the court after that Duke game, but they did tonight. They yeah. moved on from that weight game. Like you said, in the locker room after that weight game, a lot of devastation, a lot of guys' anger, a, a lot yeah. of disguised. Carolina didn't play well. They didn't, I mean, no, there's no way fans are a bust about it. On Tuesday night in Winston Salem, Carolina did not play well. But they cut the court and they played well tonight. And then you end in that fashion. It's Carolina's going to have to keep cutting the cord if they want to find ways to win games. That, like, that's exactly right. Mm-hmm. They got to keep snipping. Yeah, they have to have a giant pair of scissors here, <laughs> theoretically, just to snip away just. and move forward. And <laughs> honestly, I thought it, have, coming off what they were coming off of, yeah. and going up against a UVA team that has had their number long before this season started. Yeah, I was not optimistic. And the, the, pre, the national title team scored like forty-six points in Charlottesville. Oh yeah. In, in 17, okay? So this team has struggled against UVA for a while. They, they, it's a defense that just doesn't the, – the way Carolina plays offensively just doesn't really doesn't usually match, work yeah. too well against UVA's defense. So this would have been the kind of game you thought, wow, and these guys are not going to get up to have to face that team. And mm. they did. And you got to give a lot of credit to Roy for, for finding a way to get – it's like football coaches. They have all week long after a bad loss. they got to – they got to figure out, you know, you, you soothe, you mend, you mm-hmm. fix, you start to build, you motivate, inspire. Next thing you know, a team runs out of the tunnel, and Tulane thinks they can beat Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, well, Roy had to do the same kind of thing with this group after what they had dealt with here Saturday and then in Winston-Salem, and I thought he did a, a fantastic yeah, job. Too, yeah. And it wasn't just that they were ready to play, mm-hmm. but there were a couple times where UVA made some pushes mm-hmm. that – in a lot of games we've seen this yeah, year, that they oh well they they weren't done now, mm-hmm. and they kept pushing yeah, they and kept fighting back yeah. and took the lead a few times. They ebbed and flowed in the second half against a team that's certainly a lot better and a club that looks like they're going to the NCAA tournament. 
again, we're looking for positives right now, and I think you know you still got games to play. Yeah, for sure. They've got uh, what uh, six more league yeah. games to play in the regular season in the ACC tournament, so a minimum seven to go. Got to play them. Yeah, can't walk away and say ah, bad season. We're not going to do this. So they have to keep trying to get better to try to make something of these final games. And I think tonight was a step in that direction. Another tough loss for the Tar Heels, 64 to 62 tonight to Virginia in Chapel Hill. I've been Jacob Turner. He's been Andrew Jones. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, obviously, AJ will be up in South Bend early next week. Was that a Monday night Monday. game, right? Yes, yeah, a quick turnaround. I'll be gone most of the week. I'll yeah. for a day and a half and back up to Louisville. Back up to Louisville. So, kind of going on a bit of a road trip next week. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Be sure to share this video if you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.